Hey, it's me, Mackenzie Marie, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be testing famous YouTuber products, and I'm not a disgusting, filthy liar. So let's get honest. Are these products worth the hype, or are they not? David Dobrik opened up a pizza shop. Pizza is one of my favorite foods. So if you mess this up, David, I'm coming for your throat. The pizza looks pretty good. It has a 3.1 star. That's not so hot. Came here for lunch, got three slices of pizza, and was greatly disappointed. Pizza was stale, hard, and cold. Uh-oh. If you're looking for a good pizza, I highly recommend you go elsewhere. Domino's Pizza <laughs> Oh no! Figured this was going to be bad, but I can't even call this pizza. Oh, yikes. I guess the only thing left to do is go there and I'll find out for myself. Let's try this 3.1 star pizza. <laughs> look, I'm a critic and I'm gonna be going hard. It smells really good in here. They all look good. We have a coin. Now we're gonna have a pizza party. This is a Bitcoin? Yeah. Do you see this sign? Pizza party. I would do that. Do we press the button? <laughs> this is spicy margarita. This is the supreme. Look at that pool, that pool of grease. I literally gained five pounds just staring at it. How much grease can it pick up? That's hella greasy. And then this is the Chicago. Looks good. It's not stale like the review said. It's good. Five out of ten. It's so thick. It's it's just mostly dough is what it looks like. Three out of ten. I can't even taste the cheese on it. This is where the comeback is gonna be at. Oh my god. Mm. Ten out of ten. That one's good. This is one of their most popular ones, so I got high hopes for this. Mmm. Wow, this one's my favorite. I got the Logan Paul Gatorade. This is Prime. I call it Logan Paul Gatorade. Meta Moon. Pour her up, baby. I like a bull. It smells like Fruity Pebbles. What in the heck is this? This is so sweet. Uh, tropical Punch. 10% of this is coconut water, which I love. Pull it up, pull it up. Mmm, this one smells good. I would drink this. Yeah, yeah, that one's good. Lemon, lime. B6, B12. There's vitamins in here. Oh. Mm. Six out of ten. Great. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. No. Out of ten. Eight, ten, three, one. Logan Paul said, yeah, Gatorade's good. But energy drinks are better. There's coconut water in this too. Woo! Tropical punch, orange mango, lemon lime, blue raspberry, strawberry watermelon. Mmm. Seven out of ten. Tropical punch. Seven out of ten. Ten out of ten. Lemon lime. Oh no, I'm not excited about this one. This is better. Eight out of ten. Blue raspberry. Oh yeah, that's a 10 out of 10. That one's the best. This is a solid drink. It's honestly a 10 out of 10. I've been obsessed with Emma Chamberlain and she opened up a coffee business which is going insanely well for her. Emma is selling everything from all different types of roasted coffee to instant coffee, chai teas, matchas, you name it, she's got it. I've got the Chamberlain coffee matcha. This is the original flavor. I also got the chai tea. Unfortunately, there was no coffee that I could buy that would get here in time to make this video. Oh, it smells so matcha -y. Big cup. I only drink spring water. One teaspoon. I just dump it in. I'll be here mixing it for a minute. Yeah, that's matcha if I've ever seen it. I don't know what happened to the clip, but I made the matcha. This is days later. Let me explain to you how much I love this matcha. So good. This is my matcha making station. This is everything I used to make my matcha. I even made one for Cameron. Oh, it's busting. She did a great job. I love chai tea. Dissolve two tablespoons of chai tea into one ounce of hot water. I'm gonna guess what one ounce is. Ooh, immediately when I open the bag, ooh, that smells good. Oh, it's like cinnamon, spicy, vanilla. Ooh, oh my God, this is this is it. I have a feeling that I'm gonna be drinking this every single day. Pour it in here. Oh, it smells so good. I feel like a barista right now. Oh, baby! Oh, that looks so delicious! Oh my god, I'm gonna love this. I'm literally going to love this. I'm so <laughs> 
10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. I'm gonna be putting that on my Amazon storefront. Go, go cop that, I have a link down below. Mr. Beast Feastable Bars. And I got every single flavor. Mr. Beast, don't let me down, honey. Original chocolate, only four ingredients? That's a big claim. This is the one line, this is for sharing. But the rest I'm just supposed to mm, eat. Not a fan of this. That's, that's a solid chocolate bar. I love this. I am a chocolate connoisseur. The fact that there's only four ingredients in this is actually amazing. This is like a healthier chocolate bar. No crazy ingredients in it that you can't read. I love this. Quinoa crunch. I like quinoa, but I've never had it in chocolate before. If you don't know what quinoa is, it's kind of like a rice. So why would you put it in a chocolate bar? You can see the quinoa in it. Mm, these are so good. 10 out of 10. Almond chocolate. I'm gonna love this. Oh, mmm. Oh my god. I was not expecting these to be this good. Chocolate sea salt. Salty chocolate doesn't really sound that good to me. Oh. <laughs> Hmm, why is this the best one? Whoa, this one's my favorite. Milk chocolate, which all of these have like a really dark chocolate flavor to them. It's kind of like semi-sweet. Mm. Oh yeah, this one's very milky. Mm. Mm. I'm totally gonna buy all of these again. <laughs> wow, like I'm so shocked right now. Mr. Beast actually has a restaurant and I've been seeing it on my DoorDash app. I was looking through what I thought I would want to eat off of here. All of it looks pretty disgusting to me. I don't like fast food like that. I have a sensitive stomach. So I have to be very careful with what I eat. And all of this looks like a heart attack waiting to happen. There's a burger that has fries in it. Why would you do that? The beast styled fries also look really good. The Carl's Deluxe and possible Chris style fries. Chris must like fries in his burger or something. This Nashville fried chicken, this is up my alley. I gotta get that. It's Mr. Beast Burger, so I kind of have to get a burger. Other than my baby boy burger, smashed crispy beef patties with house seasoning, American cheese, pickles, diced white onions, mayo, ketchup, brown mustard on a toasted bun. Mr. Beast Burger. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Smells good. Oh damn. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Get in there. Give me your. Oh my God. It's all over your face. Oh boy, you're not even telling me how it tastes. You're supposed to tell me how it tastes. Words! Use your words! <laughs> how is it? That's buzzing. Mmm. Mm hmm I wouldn't say there's anything special about it. Tastes like a burger. I wouldn't get it again, no. You would not? No. Here's the next thing. Oh, it's a chicken sandwich. Ooh. This is the Nashville fried chicken sandwich. Oh, baby. Oh, that smells so good. Oh yeah, oh my God. Wow, he really took a big ass bite. This is like a nine. Really? This is really good. That one's better? This beats like actual chicken places. Boom. Mm. I will get this again. This is good, nine out of 10, I like it. The next thing we got are French fries. Now apparently these are special seasoned fries, which I'll be honest, nothing looks too special about this. It's cold. Oh. It's stale. Oh. It tastes old. No. These are like the worst fries I've ever had in my life. No, really? Like these fries get a negative one. Oh. That's bad, huh? Yeah, that's not it. There's no flavor. Blah, blah, blah. No. I'm pretty blown away by all of these products. Let me know in the comment section below if you've tried any of them and which ones are your favorite. If you enjoy videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. You can follow me on any of my social medias at Mackenzie Marie, and I will see you here in my next video. Toodles.